Congratulations, and thank you for creating your website with WebStarts. In this short video, I'll show you how to create your very own custom website. Let's start from the dashboard. Here you'll find your site-wide settings. Scrolling down the page, you'll see your site's apps. But let's start by showing you how to edit a web page. Hover over the thumbnail of your website and select Edit Site. This opens the page editor. The home page is loaded by default. To edit another page, select it from the drop down menu. To create a new page, select Add New Page. You can create a new blank page, duplicate one, or create one from a template. Select the Create Page button and give your page a name. When you create a page, it's automatically added to your navigation menu. To delete a page, select File, Delete Page. Deleted pages are automatically removed from the navigation menu. A web page is divided into three main sections. The top is called the header, below that is the body, and at the bottom is the footer. It's the perfect place to put your business name, logo, and navigation menu. This makes it easy for visitors to navigate your site. While your site is made up of pages, pages are made up of elements. Elements are things like text, images, video, icons, and more. Elements can be added by selecting the plus button from the sidebar. Drag and place the elements where you want them to appear. A toolbar appears when an element is selected. Selecting the icons on the toolbar allow you to edit the content, appearance, and properties. For example, selecting the edit icon allows me to change the content of this text box. Selecting the text allows me to format it. Selecting the style icon will allow you to change the appearance. For example, selecting the style icon allows me to change the color and shape of this button. Use the guidelines to align elements with one another or align elements on your page by selecting the alignment icon and choosing where you'd like to align to. Use smart handles to push or pull elements up and down the page. This can be done to create space where you can add more elements, link from an element by selecting the settings icon and then the link icon. Select where you'd like to link to and tap create link. Tap the save icon to save and publish your page. Tap the view button to see your pages on the web. Return to the dashboard to add interactive apps to your site. Tap the apps you'd like to install on your site. You can add an online store, appointment booking, chat, blogs, and more. Enabling an app adds the corresponding pages to your site. Select the app panels to manage them. For example, to add products to your online store, Manage your booking appointments, make blog posts, or chat with your visitors. When you're ready to share your site, be sure to add a domain name. For example, your very own .com web address. You can register a new one or connect one you already own. Once a domain name is added, you'll also be able to set up a matching email address. With that, you'll have a beautiful website with a professional domain name and corresponding email address. Note, whether you register a new domain or use your own, you must first upgrade to a paid subscription. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our help documentation, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or contact us if you ever have a question.